First order, 15 bucks. And he's note he says to call when I arrive. So that's what I'm gonna do. Drop off is done. And he was waiting for me at the front with his cart. And he grabbed everything from me. Everything is fine. And this was a very easy delivery because when I saw the two items, did I tell you that I had a $15 on Uber? Yeah. When I saw the two items, 18 units, I was like, oh, that's gonna be 18 packs of water, isn't it? It wasn't, but it was still water. So I was like, okay, whatever, I'll make it work, you know? Base pay $7, by the way, so there might be a hidden tip, who knows? And when he said, call me when you arrive, I was like, okay, there might be, he might help me to come and get it at the, at the gate and he did so please and thank you sometimes we think it's really hard and when you actually do the delivery it's not that hard anyway let me go online on doordash it's 1205 this was my first order just terrible um my friend when i arrived around 10 15 he had made zero dollars he grabbed a 30 dollar order there was a lot of items, but um, yeah. Hopefully today can be a little bit busy. Yesterday I made 190, but I went home at 10 p.m. So choose your own poison, really. Okay, that's an 18 though order on Uber. Secretly hoping there is a hidden tip. She's not too far away, but she is um, in the hills and there might be traffic going in and coming out. So this is... The customer on Instagram that tips me seven eight bucks last time. So we'll see. Okay. So like I said, I wasn't sure if it was her. It was I was like, damn, it looks like it looks like the address of my customer on Instacart that tips me insanely well. Last time she was part of the $139 order that I had and she had tipped me 78 bucks, if you guys remember. Uh, and one time I had her order on its own and she had tipped like $60 or something. She's an amazing tipper. And I was like, well, it looks like her house, but I'm not sure. And I didn't check. I was like, well, whatever, it's a house good enough for me because she had a lot of water and other things and then I arrive in this in the in the street and I'm like yeah that's her like it's either her or her neighbor right and I was like damn that's so nice because she's she's just a great tipper you know so I was like oh I'm so glad I took this order so I don't know how much the order is gonna be. The base pays $10, I accepted it for 18. I think the first Uber paid me $16 and some change, which is not too bad, honestly. It didn't take me that long, it wasn't complicated. The delivery was easy. Uh, it's just a lot of weight. Uh, now it's 140. So yeah, there is a lot of weight in between orders. But hopefully we can make it work. I need to make $143 today. That's the goal. Yesterday I made 191 bucks. I didn't even know. I thought I was at like 150, 160. And then I went home really late. And I got my last tip around like 10, 30, something like that on Uber. And then I did the calculations and I was at 191. And I was like, oh, okay, well, don't mind if I do. You know, my, my goal was 157 and I crushed it. So I'm happy. So today I only have to make 143. This is the bare minimum. Everything above that, above that is a bonus. This is an 11 on Instacart. I've delivered to her several times. She only tips two bucks, but she's behind the store and I just had come back from my other one, so. All right. I arrived at the same time as somebody, someone who lives here, so it's all good. It's heavy. I try not to carry anything with my left arm because 
It's still killing me. turning in the store excuse my hair I accepted a $20 order on uber going five miles for only two items and it's salmon and carrot cake okay don't Turn mind left. if I do I mean I was literally just driving away from this delivery 20 bucks it's 218 the slow hour so I'll take it this ended up being so much harder than it needed to be for the simple reason that he never answers the phone. Like literally, uh, at this point, it's like, do you want your cake or do you not want your cake? He wanted salmon and a carrot cake, a an entire carrot cake, okay? Two layers, eight inches ca carrot cake. They don't have that. I waited 10 full minutes in front of that damn bakery counter. I sent him pictures of all of the cakes they had. You know the worst Make of that? Slide. Is that there was a problem with the salmon. They had it in stock. It just wouldn't take the freaking thing. I don't know why. Basically, it said something went wrong. And I was like, okay, nothing's gonna go wrong because you're gonna accept this freaking salmon. So I had to refund the item and then add a replacement from that and then it took it i don't know why it was not accepting it in the first place uh but it accepted it when i added a replacement so it's all good he approved this replacement i called him like i don't know five times uh i sent i don't know how many messages i sent so many pictures I tried to make the replacement of the cake several times. I made like a, like whatever replacement. I just wanted him to open the messages so we could talk and he could tell me whatever cake he wanted. And I was like, they only have the sliced carrot cake. Uh, they only have four of that. Otherwise they have plenty of other cakes, you know? Bro never answered. So I was like, okay. So I grabbed the four slices of carrot cake and I got him that. I got him four slices of carrot cakes. Uh, hopefully he likes it. He has a pin number. I don't know if he's gonna answer the door. I have no idea, but that's what I did. And I tried, okay? I really tried and I didn't want to cancel the order because he did approve the replacement of the salmon. So I was like, you are on your phone. On the other hand, you probably already know. I don't know if I'm gonna put the screenshot right after my last order, just to let you cook a little bit. I told you last time, she, my finger is very itchy. I told you last time she tipped me 78 bucks on Instacart, right? She had a huge order. I don't think I've ever delivered to her on Uber. The last two times I've delivered to her, it was on Instacart. She tipped me insanely well. So I was expecting maybe a $30 tip on that one. No, she tipped me $60. What? The order ended up being 70 bucks. 70, seven zero. <gasps> this is amazing. It took me 51 minutes, $70 in 51 minutes. And I saw $18 when I accepted this order, 18. Uber, if you're watching this video, why are you doing this? This is like a huge disservice to your customers who are tipping insanely well. Because this was a lot of items. And this was really heavy. And for someone who might not want, who might not know that Uber had tips, some people might not accept this order for $18. You know what I mean? When actually it's 70 Anyone would accept this order for $70. Anybody. So you guys suck. Uber sucks. Like, why don't you show us the full f tip? Like, I just don't understand. Why are you playing with people's money? Like, I just don't get it. Why do you want 
the low tippers to have their orders so bad. They're not paying for the service. And they're not paying as many fees as you think they do. Why don't you take care of the customers who tip $60 on your app by showing us that the order is 70 bucks instead of 18? I don't know. Honestly, if it was me, she probably doesn't know because on Instacart we can see the full tip. But honestly, if Uber was showing us the full tip, it would be, it would be the leading app for me. But since you don't, then some orders I just can't gamble on. Uber is doing some weird stuff lately. Okay, drop off is done. Couldn't confirm the same number. This is a very annoying delivery and a very annoying customer. If they give me a, a thumbs down for whatever reason, then I don't give a f <laughs> Like, at this point, they can suck it, you know? The, the base pay is $14. I'm 100% sure this order has been dropped before because they were not answering and because the carrot cake was not in stock. But I'm not letting go 20 bucks. On a Thursday, I'm not. So while well, they got carrot cake for what it matters, I guess that's what matters. And they were inside the house. Like I rang the doorbell, I knocked on the door. They were watching uh, Frozen. So this is how loud the TV was. So I guess that's why they couldn't hear the freaking doorbell. But at this point, you know you ordered some food. You know what I mean? I have accepted a $13 order on Uber going two miles. 12 minutes to drive two miles, just FYI. <laughs> um, it was four items, everything was in stock. It was one pack of water, six bottles of Fiji, one pack of apples, one pack of clementines, and something else, mini carrots. Everything was in stock, and now I'm gonna go deliver. It's going to a house. It's 3.45, traffic is awful. So I have delivered here uh, last summer. All right, drop off's done. Base pay six dollars. Like I said, I remember I delivered to them last summer. I remember because it was insanely hot that day. And I remember the house anyway. It's gonna be 4 p.m. in two minutes. I am not very far from my goal. Um, I actually don't know. I should be at 125-ish, something like that. Uh, light is green, thank you very much. Lord Jesus, for this. There was a little bit of traffic on the road to come back to the store, uh, to, to go deliver, but I was expecting it, 4 p.m., what can you do? Okay, so, I accepted a 13 on Instacart, and I'm gonna go deliver right now. They did send me an 18, but it was going 5.7 miles. And I was like, you know what? I'd rather do the smaller orders for less mileage. You know, it was for 25 items. It was going far. And I know around that time of day, 5.7 miles is going to take me 15 to 20 minutes to drive there. And it's going where all of the traffic is going. And I was like, you know what? No. So I declined it. I mean, I didn't take it. And then... Like right after that, I received this 13. I think it's going 1.3 miles and it's going to a house and I would rather do that. You know, like for $5 less. And also her name is Lisa. <laughs> so she has to be a nice person. I think I've delivered her before. drop off ever <laughs> leave a door in a house in a really nice neighborhood quiet 
Okay, let's see how much this order ended up being. I mean, it should not have moved because I did not replace anything. $6 tip, pretty good if you ask me. I'm gonna go right here because there is a light so I can turn left. It's 4.43. This took me 20 minutes from start to finish, which is pretty good in my opinion. And now I'm, I'm not even like two minutes away from the store. First DoorDash order of the week. Where's Thursday? 27 bucks for a regular customer of mine. Let's go. All right, everything is shopped for. With this one, I will be at the 172, which is not too bad. I hope I can hit 200 today. off is done she tipped 15 bucks please and thank you it's 605 I have 28 bucks to go to make 200 I would like to not go home at 10 p.m. today please <laughs> yesterday literally at 10 p.m. I was home 10 956 so it was a little bit late so and then if the, the later I go home the later I go to sleep and the later the, the the more tired I wake up obviously so I'm just I'm just trying to get enough sleep making enough money while not working myself to death I would like to have at least two three four hours in a day to do the things that I want to do without being on the apps so if I can, if I can handle all of that, I would be happy, but I need to also, yeah, no tip, no thanks. I would also like to work out. So um, I need to, I need to squeeze that in my day. And I think that the only way I can do so is by waking up earlier, which I don't like doing. I'm on my way to deliver an $11 order on Uber, going 0.4 miles. It was for uh, coconut milk and the rest was produce, celery, blueberries, strawberries, this kind of stuff. Cucumbers, not a lot of items. Everything was in stock. It's going to a house. The longer is going to be the drive, literally. <laughs> because I have to turn left over there and it's always a struggle. Okay, I've delivered here before. Alright, drop off is done. The base is a lot, so. She tipped pretty well for the amount of items that she had. Uh, and it didn't take me that long. It's 6.47. Grab a 13 on the Uber and I 99.9% am sure that there's gonna be a hidden tip. So that's gonna be my last order. So everything was in stock. And now he's one minute away. I've already delivered to him before and he's a great tipper. That's why I said, I don't wanna say 100% because if there is not, a hidden tip on this order, I look stupid. But honestly, I'm 100% sure there's gonna be a, a hidden tip. Everything was in stock. Now I'm gonna go deliver. It's 7.25, honestly, I could stay, but I don't think it's gonna be that productive. Everything is very slow. All of the Uber drivers are waiting in their cars, which tells me that there are no orders, not even Take small the ones. Right. And I've made 200 today. I'm happy with that. I'm not trying to stay longer because honestly, I'm tired. I just wanna go home. I have another 20, 25 minutes to go home. So, you know, yesterday was really, really, really long. <laughs> 
So yeah, I'm not. I'm just not trying to do that right now. Your destination is on the left. Um. So yeah. That's funny to me that I make more money on Wednesdays and Thursdays than Saturday and Sunday. Okie dokes! Drop offs done! Base space five bucks. So even if there is no hidden tip, I will be at 193, and <laughs> I'll be ha uh, 197, and I I will be happy with it. Like seriously, uh, considering now that on weekends I make jack shit money, it's so weird to me that I make more money on Wednesdays and Thursdays than Saturdays, Fridays. And Sundays, like it's a struggle to even make 150 on Fridays and Saturdays. Tomorrow, I'm not coming early. I'm coming around 10, 11. But um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. We'll we'll know in an hour. It's 7:30 on the dot. Honestly, today was okay. I didn't have bad orders. I didn't have like orders that I took and I was like, Egh. so yeah. Um, I'm happy that I hit. Honestly. At the beginning, I thought I was not gonna hit 150 because it was really slow, and then, and then I had the $70 order, and that helped obviously, <laughs> tremendously. But I'm happy with that. Like, I hope you guys made a lot of money too. I hope this weekend can be a little bit busy because the tax refunds are gonna hit. Uh, it's still Coachella this weekend, so a lot of people might not be here. But at the same time, like I said the tax refunds are gonna hit the bank accounts and I think a lot of people are gonna have cravings and they're going to order food that's what I'm hoping for really or next week this weekend or next week the tax refunds are gonna hit basically uh, oh, there's traffic it's 730 there's traffic Ugh. I'm literally one light away from the freeway <sighs> anyway, now I'm going home. I'll be home at about, I guess, 8, 7.50 or 8. Um, so it's better than 10 p.m., obviously. <laughs> like I said, I could wait and make a lot, uh, some more money, but I just don't want to. I just don't want to. <laughs> anyway, hope I hope you guys had a great Thursday. Don't forget to do all of the YouTube things. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. One of the drivers, Instacart drivers, was in the store and he was like, what's your goal? And I was like, no, 200. And he was like, no, like in life. And I was like, what? I was like, we don't have enough time to talk about everything I want to do. And he was like, yeah, I just do this like three hours a day. And I was like, well, yeah, if I don't have any utilities to pay or rent, or debt or credit cards or food and I don't eat anything and I don't need anything yeah I would do this three hours a day but I don't because I have rent to pay I have everything to pay anyway that made me laugh